What are the best Christian apps out there to help us to grow in our faith? Today I give you my top seven and one that I've only just discovered. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship, helping us by looking at different themes from different perspectives to grow in our faith, to become better followers of Christ and also to share the great hope we have with others. We are so blessed today because there are so many Christian apps out there to help us in our faith and to know God better but we don't need to download them all we can be smart about this and just find the ones that are going to really help us to become better disciples of Christ more intentional in our faith and today I'm going to share my top seven that I use to help me grow in my faith and to be a better disciple of Christ so the first one is YouVersion the Bible app it's huge and I think most people have it on their phone or even on multiple devices I, I this is just such a simple app i mainly do use it for the bible i have done a few devotionals in the past but i kind of do uh, my devotionals through books either in paperback or on kindle but i have done the some of the shorter ones on there and this is why i recommend this app because not only have you got so many different versions of the bible but you've also in the main got the um devotionals on there as well that you can just sign up and the great thing about the devotionals on there that they cover so many different areas so you might just be going through a bad time or you might want to look at finances or being a parent or anything and there's going to be something for that and that's how i use this app for the bible and sometimes some devotionals just to give me that extra boost as i'm going through my journey with god the second app that I use is Prayer Mate, and I love this because you can do a couple of things on here and this is the way that I use it is that I put my specific prayers in there for people or for things or something that's happening and um, but also I've subscribed to some different um, charities and even to my old theological college that I used to go to and the thing with this app it helps you with your prayer life it helps you to be more in a sense intentional you're saying what you want to pray uh, but you're not spending such a huge time every day doing it you're doing it maybe across the week and then praying for all the things that you want to pray for and also getting the news from outside i know that uh, on mine i got open doors and so every time they say something down i'm praying for them as well and it's such an amazing app you can also log your prayers so once they're answered um i don't really do too much of that but uh, it, it's there and you can use it to how you want it and that's the thing with all these apps they most of them are customizable about how you want to use it so there's going to be a lot of features but you don't have to use them all the third app that i use is something called pray as you go and i think it's from uh, some jesuits and um, and you get some music and you get a reading, you get a reflection, you get the, uh, some music again. And it's just something that you pray on the go. It's a kind of mini devotional, as it were, with uh, the word of God. It does follow the Catholic um, liturgy, but actually it doesn't matter. It's 10 minutes long. Um, the music can be um, Gregorian chants and up to uh, modern day uh, worship pop music. Um, and it's just really simple uh, but there's so much in there and being 10 and sometimes 12 minutes long it's something that you can really fit in your day and just have that time out just to uh, go listen to God's word and to worship in the music it's something that I really recommend to use the fourth one um, I'm going to be a bit cheeky on this one because um, I've just done a video about this about uh, reading the bible in a year so you can click the link now and go see that but Bible in a year there's there's two apps that I really recommend for this and I'm going to put them together read scripture where you get a reading every day of two or three chapters every book and you will work through and you've got a, a psalm there and you've also got videos for the bible project explaining um what the book is or what the theme is that they're talking about and, and that's amazing and it's great to read um if you love the reading part and also uh, from the guys who do alpha is a bible in one year and you can either read this or you can listen to it. And I actually, um, I said I was going to do re scripture this year, but actually I found that I want to listen more when I and I use this when I get ready in the morning. You've got a, a, a psalm and then a, a, a devotion and then a New Testament reading, the devotion and then the Old Testament reading and a devotion and a, a, a short devotion by someone else at the end. And it's brilliant. It's uh, really simple and you can use it on the go. And there are two different apps, but you're going to, 
go through the whole Bible in different ways in a year and I really recommend that you get one in. It's not too late to start now. The fourth one is uh, Sermon Audio and um, I think this is great because you've got a lot of great speakers out there um, and we can't get to their churches and we can't um, travel across the world just like that on a Sunday to go hear them. Um, but they're here and you can go search for your favourite uh, preacher and um, also share uh, these as well with friends if you heard something you can uh, get them to listen to it as well so you are finding a central place to go hear some amazing people speaking the word and truth of god and that helps sustain and this is really a really good one as well if you're um on holiday and, and you, you you're not going to church or um you just need something and you're traveling in the car or on the train or, or at home cooking or, or, or doing whatever you can just put this on and hear some amazing preachers from uh, some amazing gifted uh, people out there and i really recommend this one it's a central hub as it were for that so the fourth one is something called verso uh, which is from uh, a company called logos um, and this is an app with christian books on there and so and I, I recommend this one because they are Christian books. Uh, I recommend looking for the deals as well. I, I never usually buy ebooks full price, um, but it, it gives me a collection of Christian books that are there um, and I get them because they're on offer. And it's a really good, uh, focused, Christian only app for Christian books. Uh, so I can go into the store and I know I'm not going to get bombarded with everything else i can see what's there and, and read the reviews and see what the books are and, and download them to this app and i do use it interchangeably with the kindle but i have different books on both depending on how much they cost the last one which i've only just found uh, but i think is amazing um i found it on google play as i was going through it's one of those that came up as a recommendation um is i disciple and, and i downloaded this and it asked me so many questions at the beginning about uh, my interest and things that i liked and i didn't know where it was going but it's basically a central hub you put in what your interests are you put in what you like and uh, of a range of topics and every day then they kind of bring what you're interested in to you so it's relevant to you so i got uh, links to videos, to sermons, um, to worship music, to articles. And so it, it's doing a lot of hard work and bringing this in. And again, I love it because it's, it's that discipleship. It's, it's helping us grow in our faith with Christ, uh, go deeper in our faith uh, through the worship, hearing God's word or reading something. Um, and this is one that I'm only just getting into, but I really, really loving at the moment and um, there's a lot more for me to find out yes there are sermons on there but it's not like sermon audio because these are recommended from what i um put in and where sermon audio kind of i go through it and see what's on there so they do work in different ways but i disciple is really one to look out for so i hope that you have discovered some apps that you didn't know about or maybe apps that you have but you can haven't been using or you're using them a different way that you can go and use them um put in the comments below about which apps you use these are only seven that i use and there are so many more out there which ones do you use how do you use them um uh, put in the comments below and help us uh as a community see um what is out there and how we can use these apps to grow and go deeper in our faith to be more intentional disciples of christ so thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a big like. Um, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be loads of content coming out. So don't miss an episode and hit that subscribe button. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all these Christian apps. When we pray for all those who develop these Christian apps, we pray for all those who are developing at the moment these Christian apps. Help us find out of all these apps, the ones that are more relevant to us, that will help us to come to know you better, to help us to be better disciples of you, and also to help us to share our faith with others. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.